Hey, welcome back to the Psygoggle and Jack channel. Let's take a look at what I hope is going to be a really good everyday carry fountain pen. This will be a pocket dropper and it is the Caveco Lily Put. Just got my hands on it. It comes in a sleeve and a really nice tin. Comes with a sticker and some instructions and then this is it. So it's a fully enclosed little capsule as a threaded barrel and then it posts by threading which is uh, not the smoothest thing to do. It takes three complete turns to unpost it and three complete turns to uh, cap it. And it is so small, I think I'm gonna have to use it posted to write with. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to post it every time. So we'll see. That's not too bad. Um, it's got a very small barrel. I would say it's like a um, number two pencil. Probably similar to my Aviator B3. It is similar in diameter to the Aviator B3. I really like this pen. So I wanted something, uh, a fountain pen that I could uh, just drop in my pocket. And I think this will work. It takes the short cartridge. International Shorts came with one in blue ink, uh, but I have uh, blue ink in another fountain pen, so I am going to put in some pearl black ink. So let's get that done. So here are the cartridges it takes. This blue one came with it, and there's a black one, and uh, you just puncture the end with the little tube in there. Okay, we'll give it a few minutes to uh, saturate the feed and then we'll try it out. There's the nib. This is a fine point nib. Got some nice scrolling of the uh, Quebeco logo on there. Looks like it'll work. There's the feed. A little logo on the on the feed as well. Let's try it out in my little field notes bullet journal. You haven't seen those videos I've got a playlist on how to set up a bullet journal in a field notes there's no room for stickers or stamps though it's just it's just a bullet journal Let's see if I can find a blank piece of paper in here okay that only took a few minutes to get the feed going and I've already got ink on me <laughs> so this is a go back home lily put This is pearl black. And this is a fine nib. Oh, nice. Let's see if it bled through. Nope. So, works in the field notes. I like it. I like the uh, I like the fine nib. Um, smooth. Ink flow is really good. Yeah. 
this will work. It's very lightweight. There's no weight to it at all. And it is very short. So I think uh, really the only uh, two downsides to this are it's lightweight, which could be a pro or a con. And it's very short, which could be a pro or a con. <laughs> Well, okay, three. You have to screw it to post it. So, if my hands were any bigger, I wear a large size glove, but I would say my hands are medium. If, it were any, if my hands were any bigger, that might not be comfortable. And it doesn't feel, you know, as balanced as a longer pen. But, you can just throw it in a pocket without any worry, or very little worry, of having an ink disaster. So I will do an update, probably with um, my pocket dumps. So stay tuned for that. Let's do a little size comparison. Here it is next to a Koe Noor pencil. Really like that pencil. Here's a Pentel Carry. Here is a Zebra 701, a Zebra 402. Here's a Parker Jotter. Here is uh, my Aviator B3. Here's a Lamy Safari. So there you go, it's really small. And it's really smooth and should just drop right in a pocket no problem. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and thank you for those who have subscribed, and uh, come back and uh, catch an update on this. And if you're interested in my Field Notes Bullet Journal, I have a playlist on that. And coming soon, I'll be moving out of this and into something else. And here is a little hint. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay, thanks. Bye.